Good morning, traders. I'm Michael Sabo, Senior Commodities Broker here on Wednesday, October 17th, uh, bringing in some opening commentary here in the energy market. So what do we got going on here today? Well, so far, kind of quiet, uh, uh, you know, movement in the market here. The range has been rather tight, just a touch firmer here right now in the WTI. Uh, the November contract's trading around 92.33. It's up about 25 cents, uh, mostly a quiet range here on the overnight. Uh, the Brent, now we're in the December uh, Brent contract already, so that, that's rolled over here. Brent is actually a touch weaker here right now at around 113.70. Uh, uh, so we're seeing that, that off about 30 cents. Taking a look at Nat Gas here right now, touch firmer, up about a uh, penny and a half to two cents, trading around 345.40. Complex here, uh, touch weaker. Arbob off about uh, 50, 60 cents there at around uh, 283.95. The heat uh, off 121 at around 318.64. So, you know, right now, you know, you take a look at yesterday's price action here. Let's start off with that first in the crude oil contract, and you know, rather tight range. Uh, we did get down there a little bit, you know, pushing close to around 91 at one point, but mostly quiet uh, day so far. A quiet day here as well, but a touch firmer. I think when you look at the last several days. Of market activity, the market's really kind of in a tighter consolidation pattern, looking for market direction. Um, now, I think it's interesting to note we had API numbers come out yesterday, and as I mentioned in yesterday's post, you know, looking to see a build of about 1.5 million barrels. It came in almost double that. So once again, we're seeing the stockpiles. It looks like being added to. Now, we do have DOE data coming out here just a little bit later this morning. So let's keep an eye on that and see, you know, what type of impact it has on the market. If we see, you know, a pretty substantial build there, uh, you're going to see the year-over-year -year stockpiles, you're going to see things continue to increase. We already know what that demand situation looks like. Big question mark there. So, you know, ultimately, I still favor the, the short side of that market. Now, we are seeing today, and I think what's given the market just a touch bit of strength here today, outside markets. Look at the global equity markets seem to be a touch firmer here. Uh, also, when we take a look at what's going on with the dollar index here right now, that dollar has been coming under some pressure. So generally, when you see the dollar under pressure, that's generally going to be considered supportive for commodities and, and especially for crude oil. So, you know, I think that's what's lending a little bit of support, but ultimately I, I look at that to, uh, to eventually start to reverse course there. Of course, we got to watch, you know, we know we got issues in Syria and Turkey, we know we got issues in Iran and Israel, but that's kind of taken a little bit of a back burner here right now. We're not hearing about a lot of that. Traders don't seem to be too focused on it, but we'll see a flare up, I'm sure, in the near future there. Uh, and the same thing with Europe. We're not hearing a lot coming out of there. You know, the last couple of days in the equities markets have been mostly firmer. So it's been kind of a risk on type of attitude, and I think that's what's keeping crude uh, uh, supportive. But if you notice, I, I don't really think that it's it's causing crude prices to run to the upside. So I think once all of a sudden we start to see a risk-off type attitude, uh, that could really uh, has the potential, I think, to open up the downside in the market. So you know, you like to get into more detail here. We can talk about some risk management strategies and some different ideas in that market. Give me a call. The number to the trade desk is listed there on the screen. So is my email address. More than happy to help you out. And of course, remember that futures trading does involve a substantial amount of risk, may not be suitable for all traders. Good luck and good trading.